We believe that once it's time to do the implementation, that there is a lot of capacity requirement that will be required, especially at the sub-national, in our case, the state and district levels. And for us, it's a process of getting ready to be able to support the implementation process in an effective manner. Well, I think um, it's a great learning process, both for our organization and also for, for myself personally, um, to be able to work with uh, individuals and organizations from such diverse areas, both geographically and also professionally. So we learn a lot from that. Likewise, I would say that we get a lot more perspectives and have a much, much richer input to the process because of what we hear from our partners. I, I think what, we're look, what we're, we look to the IRF for is, is a means to um, work with southern organizations in particular that we may not have opportunities to work with otherwise um, to provide that diverse perspective with a common agenda. <laughs> From the perspective of SEI, um, the IRF is a huge learning adventure and the way that we have set up the partnership with the institutes all around the world is, is really, I th see the post-2015 and the SDG process is just the beginning of a, of a lo long friendship and uh, we, we hope to deepen this exchange over the coming years and uh, continue to collaborate uh, on new projects even after the SDG agenda has been finalized. Well, you know, re research, we are a research organization. We facilitate research by mm -hmm. African uh, scholars in Africa, in the different diasporas and so on. But research does not have an easy access to the policy process. Uh, and I think that this particular process makes it easier for us to package mm. some of the uh, results and outcomes of our research for direct policy relevance. Yeah, mm. yeah I mean, and, and similar for us, there's no way, I think otherwise, um, Canary and Caribbean voices would be getting mm. so directly into a, a global policy yeah. dialogue. Yeah. So it gives us an opportunity to really share our ideas and, and um, our needs uh, into the discussions as well as really to learn from others yeah. and mm. to appreciate mm. what the global dimension is and what other challenges others are facing mm. that may be similar or different to us. So really making the global connection. Already to be in this uh, global discussion uh, about subjects that concern all the planet, all the countries, all the regions is a formidable opportunity to learn, to share, to, I don't know, to make decisions or, or learning together. And uh, we, we have an, a strong research in the economic field and uh, applicate research in America Latina. And to put it and to share it with the other guys is an enormous opportunity for us. Well, I think that uh, first of all, it's a, uh, a networking opportunity. Because, uh, you know, it's a, it's a small world, but it's not easy to get people together. And this is really an excellent opportunity to have 12 organizations around the world putting together. I think it's a very good networking opportunity. And of course, secondly, it's a nice platform. And on this platform, we can exchange our ideas. We can work together to do something for policy input to influence the process. And thirdly, of course, uh, it's uh, an opportunity to cooperate, to work together, because uh, you know we um, uh, have some common uh, goals. We have common, uh, um, you, know, you know, destinations, and then we cooperate, we work together. So I think that uh, you know this is uh, something really uh, we love. Uh, this uh, uh, something called IRF.